Good evening. <laughs> Please clear the center. Make sure you clear the center. The camera. Thank you. Hey, guys, just remember, he's talking about the game and be respectful of each other when you'll ask questions. He's not going to be here very long to get spam. James, second half. What was the big difference in the first half of what happened in the first half? Well, the one thing that people need to realize about this some of those same is when we got our backs against the wall, we always ride and we start playing harder. Jim, it feels like this gets asked a lot, but uh, Cook Bruce wrote on Twitter that you were made your focus this week. Was this week more different than previous weeks as far as preparation goes for them again going out on the outside? Uh, no, not not really. You know, but uh, I was I probably was more locked in mentally because I mean this is a big game we're playing Notre, Notre Dame you know it, we're not we're not playing a high school team so uh, we had to definitely be prepared for uh, this game and I'm, I'm proud we got to win. How stressful was that final minute watching you know from the sideline defense? Not, not stressful at all we had all faith in them and uh, when they had the touchdown we like it's 17 seconds they gave us too much time we're about to go down here and score you know uh, always positive over there because we got their back. Those are our brothers out there. You know, we're going to do whatever we got to gotta do to make, make them in the right mind. James, do you find this week preparing this week more challenging than this to get off the air? Nah, right. never. Never. Every every week in preparation is the same. You know, uh, I had to be more mentally focused because this is, I mean, we're playing against Notre Dame. I mean, wow. Just playing against those guys, uh, such a prestigious college. You know, and uh, having the blessing to, to step onto the field with those guys was, was amazing. Davis, how long did it take you to realize there was a flag and there was no touchdown? Like, did you go get a ball and start throwing it thinking you were going to be on the field for seven seconds? Well, I told, I told the offense, I said, hey, y'all, get ready because I want, I want to win this game. You know, I want to win this game. And they were like, well, we with you, bro. Mm -hmm. And then we was like, we want the defense to stop them, but we want to win this game also. You know, I mean, how, how crazy that would have been if we would scored in 17 seconds. You know, like, uh, likely that didn't happen. Our defense held, but uh, I mean, it's just, it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. Well, James, James what, what was it like then playing this game for you? I mean, the way that it was going, the flow, and then the way that it ended. Well, you know, uh, when, you, when you're a player, the, the, the main focus is uh, doing what you can do to, to lead your team to a victory, especially being a quarterback. And uh, I felt that, I mean, we, we did a good job of just winning. You know, and that's one thing we've been doing. We've been we had our ups and downs this season, but one thing we continue to do is win. On that first drive of the third quarter, I think Carlos came up with a big, big catch for you, and Bobo he went behind him. How much did that help you kind of get in the rhythm when those guys had those two big catches? The chemistry, man. Yeah. That's chemistry. The guy wanting to make a play for his brother, family. You know, doing whatever you can do to make a play for your brother, make your brother look good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's, that's big. When you see that's that, what does that do? Family here. Yeah. Davis, was this one of the more times you've been under the rest in your career as far as having a throw uh, with guys in your face? Wait, say, say it again. Is this, is this one of the games where you've been as far as under more the rest from blitzers and, and you know defensive linemen as far as getting in the face? And, and, you know, oh, Notre Dame has a great. They have a great football team. Mm -hmm. They have a great defense. But at the end of the day, we made our corrections. We stepped up. I still have the best offensive line in the country. I think I hit a lot of times, but you know what I do? I get back up and I keep playing football and we keep winning. Did you speak to the team at that time in the locker room? You guys were down? Yeah, the, the main thing I said, uh, I said, guys, we got to win on first downs. Because uh, in the first quarter, like we just weren't getting any yards on first downs. So I said, guys, we got to win on first downs. We get yards on first downs. We stay in good down the distance on second and third down. We cannot be stopped. And we, uh, <laughs> they responded. You know, uh, we, we got together, they responded. And uh, three straight drives, man. Three straight drives, not being stopped. What does a lot of drives for you about the pattern of the big time you've seen before? Just not, not only Travis, man. Those young guys, like I say every week, I'm so proud of those guys. You, you can't be prouder than a young guy just stepping up in, in the clutch time. You know, and that, I, I owe that to Rashad because he's the only one on one of those wide receivers that he, that he started as a true freshman. So he takes them up under their wing, they listen to him, and he's their big brother, and they just fall, in, fall under his footsteps. And Travis Rudolph is going to be an amazing player.
Davis, did you talk to the offensive line and the difference tonight with Coach Chicken not being here to get to help him out a little bit more? I kept, I kept reminding them that you got to do this for your coach now. Mm -hmm. You know, and we have this, like I said, as a family. You know, and one of our quote unquote dads were down. You know, our daddy was down. I was like, y'all got to protect y'all daddy house. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I'm happy the way they played and they performed. And I know Coach Tricky would, would, would be proud of them. Is that how you yeah, kind of your vote? Drop it through the polls? Did you see anything to the country and tremendous? Oh, we don't, have, we don't have anything to prove to anybody. We just got to keep playing. <laughs> and uh, hopefully things will go our way. But uh, one thing, we, we are consistently proving that we are winners. And uh, no matter what type of adversity we may face, we are a family here at Florida State. And uh, we play hard. Hey, James, uh, question. James yeah, earlier. Some of those who have played on a team that's won 24 straight games, what's it like? What's, what's the feeling like each time you pull something out? It's, it's, not, it's not about those 23 games. We have won. It's about that next game that we got to play. You know, uh, uh, like I said, I'm blessed that our twin third game was against Notre Dame, man. I mean, that's a great feeling. But that next game is the, is the most important game. Jameis, earlier this week, Jimbo came out and really defended you. What did that mean to you to hear him basically tell everybody to back off? It's a family, man. Yeah. And I love that. I love that man. I love my brothers. And I, I'm pretty sure my brothers would, would defend me, and I would defend my brothers. This is a family. This is not a one-man show, man. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Shelly. Thank you.